All right, hello, my name is Mike Pilkington. I am a uh, SANS instructor, uh, specifically in the forensics and its response curriculum. Most of our classes boil down to two different types of lab exercises. One is where our students are working uh, from a VM with pretty much all of the data, all of the, uh, the systems kind of self-contained on their host workstation. And we'll start with 508, Forensics 508. And basically, we're just gonna kind of pick it up as though we were in class. So what I wanna do is kind of come over here to our exercise 1.3, malware discovery. And just as though I was, you know, kind of presenting this in class, I won't go through all the details because, you know, don't wanna take up too much of your time, but uh, we pretty much run through the major steps. What is it we're trying to accomplish in this lab? And go through the, the background and how we would run these three particular tools in this part of the lab. Again, PE scan, density scout, and SIG check. So with our labs, we typically have a bit of preparation, make sure your VM's uh, set up and ready. Uh, one of those is mounting our, our triage image that we're looking at in this, in this exercise. We're gonna look at uh, some data that was acquired from one of the compromised hosts. And then we're going to run these tools to kind of scan the processes on that system to see if it has any anomalous behavior. Now, in this um, part of the exercise, we get into running the commands. These are command line tools in this case, uh, three different ones, Density Scout being the first. And in the class, I talk a lot about the fact that, you know, it's very convenient to have this workbook where it's all electronic. We can literally copy and paste these commands, but it's also good to actually type them out and get a little bit of muscle memory and understand exactly what each um, parameter and each switch that we're using in the command line, what it's actually doing and what it's accomplishing. And of course, we talk through that in the class, so students have had that background. But to make it easy, so I don't uh, you don't have to watch me type this. I'm gonna take advantage of the little button here. You might not be able to see it in the recording, but there's a button here that says copy to clipboard and copy that. And I can run it uh, here in the uh, command line window. And what this tool is doing is going through, you know, thousands of different uh, executables and DLLs and different, uh, in fact, we did executables, DLLs and .sys drivers and looking for any anomalous uh, processes and, and uh, portable executables. All right, so with that, I'm going to wrap up the demonstration. Hope you all get a chance to join us in some live online classes and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.